Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn okay, how to use the uh, form view. Okay, so uh, in the previous videos, okay, we learned okay, how to create the uh, standalone okay, uh, details view. Okay, so let me uh, fire up the uh, software. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the uh, standalone okay, uh, uh, details view. Okay, and then okay, we also learned okay, how to uh, enable the uh, 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 editing functions okay, such as okay, update, okay, delete, and new. And then we also learn about okay, how to create uh, an, uh, a, a, web, uh, a web app okay, having the uh, uh, list okay, details okay, uh, views okay, or master okay, details view. Okay. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how to okay, use the uh, uh, form view. Okay. You might be wondering okay, uh, what is the difference between uh, details view and form view. They are pretty much the same, okay, but then from the uh, PowerPoint slides okay, here, you can see that okay, uh, the detail view control renders okay, each uh, field is a table row. Okay, so product ID one row, product name one row. Okay, uh, shop description da 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 da. Uh, each one is uh, one row. Okay, in the table. But then for the form view, okay, this will be the example. Uh, it uh, renders okay, all the fields. Okay, all the fields. Okay, in a template okay, is a single table row. So actually. This one is a single, okay, single table row, okay? Yeah, single table row, okay? So let's see okay, how to use the uh, form view, okay? Stand alone form view, form view. So let me close okay, all those apps, okay? So let me save the change, okay? Save it, save it, all right. And then, okay, let me again select the same solution, okay? Uh, you can create a new one if you want to, okay? I just try to save time, that's all. Okay, click add a new item and make sure it's web okay, application, web form, okay, and then you can change the name if you want to. Okay, I will just use a default name. Okay, click add and then I'm going to switch to the design view okay, and then I'm going to type okay, how to uh, use the uh, uh, form view, okay, form view control. Okay. All right, okay, and then uh, again, uh, make sure that uh, you, your uh, toolbox is available to you. If it's not, no big deal, go to view, okay, go to view from the menu bar, and then select the uh, uh, toolbox, okay, so, okay, yeah, there you go, okay, make sure you pick the toolbox, and then, okay, uh, use the uh, data category, okay, then uh, drag and drop an instance of the form view, okay, form view, and then we have to okay, uh, config the data source. Okay, so you can see that uh, from view display all the uh, column information or fields information okay, in the data table in one row. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, so let me construct the uh, data source. Okay, so again, it is a uh, uh, it is an SQL database. Okay, so uh, let me select the same connection string. Okay, there we go, the same database. Click next. And let me use the uh, products okay, table. Feel free to use different tables, okay? Yeah, feel free to play with it, okay, if you want to, yeah. So let me select all the fields, okay. And then again, I will just keep it simple. Okay, so I'm not going to add those advanced features. Okay, so let me click next and test the query. So far, so good. Okay, click finish. Okay, and then uh, again, okay, uh, let me enable the uh, uh, paging later. Okay, and then I might want to do a little bit formatting. Okay, so let me see. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, professional, so far so good. Click apply, click okay, and then increase the width okay, a little bit. <coughs> Let me run it, yeah. So the browser is up. 
So you can see that uh, this is a standalone okay, uh, form view, okay, control. And then you couldn't pick the next item. Uh, the reason is that okay, I hadn't enabled the uh, uh, pageant function. Okay, so let's enable the pageant function. Okay, so uh, click the uh, arrow sign okay, to uh, uh, let us okay, access the enable pageant feature. Okay, so enable that one, okay. So you will automatically add the uh, last row, okay. Uh, add one row here, okay, uh, to show the item numbers, okay. So let me uh, run the app again. So now if I want to select the uh, next item, I can pick number two, okay, and then, uh, I mean, items other than the first 10, I can click this dot, 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 okay. And then again, okay, I can pick item number 18, okay. So uh, once it's selected, the underscores, okay, hyperlink will be gone, okay. So this is the uh, standalone, okay, uh, web view control. Again, okay, if you compare with the uh, details view control, okay, you can see that the details view control, uh, display data in okay, uh, put uh, field in one row okay yeah okay, in one row but the form view control display okay, uh, all the fields okay, all the fields okay, uh, in the table okay in one row only okay yeah so there is the uh, okay, one of the main differences okay yeah all right so let me get okay, stop the video right now.